so hey guys welcome back to another video from android page so as you can see guys we just got a brand new update from rpcs3 android emulated so in this video we are going to discuss about this update and we're going to try this new update and we'll see what are the changes that they have made and also we're going to discuss about uh, the uh, bugs that we are facing uh, like black screen issues while we're installing games in rpcs3 android and i'm going to show you i can fix that issue also um, i'm going to show you if in mali devices the graphical glitches are fixed with rpcs3 and right or not guys so quickly uh, begin with the video so first of all is about the updates so as you can see that they have released the uh, new update of rp cs3 android alpha version 2 and with this update they have added the initial usb device support so for now guys only uh, dualshock 3 dualshock 4 and dualsense pad only supported and that must be connected via uh, U uh, via otg or via usb so that means guys if you have a generic controllers it is not going to support for now and also on screen control support is not yet uh, added with this update so only if you have a dual sense or dual sock controls you can uh, play rpc3 games using that only so that was a quick update so i have already installed this update and if uh, you see that they have updated the logo as you can see that uh, they have uh, added official rpc3 logo now just open it now here you'll find out that also as you can see guys the ui is completely changed now now the uh, games can be uh, accessible by just scrolling from top to bottom and all the games can be uh, seen here so uh, here you can see guys i have already installed a lot of games in my mali device to test and guys the best news is almost all the games are working and that too without any graphical glitches that we used to face in aps emulator with the mali devices now uh, and i have tested almost all games guys with no games i have faced any graphical glitches all games work perfectly just that it's the uh, lack of controls now we could play all the games uh, still if you guys uh, anyway have uh, duals, uh, dual sense dolls or controllers you can play the game so that's it for now I have just this uh, controller to test chain game generic one and this doesn't support for now so let's quickly tell you how can fix the black screen issue for example whenever you uh, open any game so what happens uh, in this menu this uh, thing just go black so the solution for this is pretty simple just open rpcs3 click here tap here go to split screen you can uh, split screen or you can instead flow uh, you can just click on floating screen so here rpcs3 will be in the floating window now whenever uh, in the floating window uh, section whenever you access any application you try to open it will open without any kind of a issue guys so let me quickly show you so now in uh, floating window if i open the application it opens without any issue any black screen issue it will work perfectly okay so if you want you can try this trick to fix the black screen issue that was a quick fix guys so so for now as you can see games are running perfectly well without any issue so so for now as you can see guys the game is running without any graphical issues and full graphics are getting rendered so that means just we have to wait for the controls and that's it guys we it's good to go we can play all the games now in our mali device so as you can see game has loaded without any issue let quickly show you another game guys so here i have so here i have uh, nfs most wanted it is so as you can see guys our game has started without any graphical issues uh, that's the best thing for now guys okay so we are running guys nfs most wanted in rpcc android emulator that to on a mali device so it just uh we have to wait for the control still it's working so if we just go to state it's running with 30 plus fps so that is crazy guys as